All right, you guys, so this is my impression of the Uncharted 2 Among the Freaking Thieves game. Um, I'm going to get to the story first, then I'm going to get to the online, and then I'll get to the stuff that I don't like about the game. As hard as that is, there are some things I don't like, but it's very, but it's a very few things. Um, but yeah, now I'm, I'm going to get to the story first. Now, um, believe it or not, some people on my PSN friends list, they didn't even touch the story yet. And to be honest, they are missing out on one of the best put together stories for a game in quite a while. I mean... Uncharted 2 story is nearly flawless. I haven't found nothing wrong with the story. Have you found some something wrong with the story? Have you found something wrong with the story? I haven't found nothing wrong with the story. I mean, the story, whether it's the voice acting, the characters, I mean, you actually care about the characters because each character is like different in um their own way. I mean, just the AI in Uncharted 2, I'm playing on norm on, on normal. So, I mean, I'm playing on normal, but it's like I'm playing in hard mode because it's like you can't you in a, in Uncharted 2. And I found this out the hard way. Well, I actually found it out on the first Uncharted. You can't go out guns blazing and just expect to like pro and just expect to beat the uh, stage or whatever. You actually have to use that cover system just like gears of war you can't just be shooting because you will die i mean the ai is no joke i mean it was this one time where i where i was shooting at a guy and then these two guys it's like they came around the thing and hey they freaking killed me i mean they came up behind me and cracked my neck and i, I, I was laid out but um yeah, man, Uncharted 2, I mean, the story is nearly flawless. No, I'm not even going to say nearly. The story is flawless for Uncharted 2. I mean, there's nothing wrong wrong with the story. I mean, so many surprising moments, so many epic moments. You always have to be aware in that game because at one moment, you can just be walking and then, like, a floor will, like, break and you'll have to climb back up or you can be on a pole and then, like, the pole will fall and you'll have to climb back up. You always have to be aware in Uncharted 2. And to be honest, I don't care what anybody, any, anybody says about Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 is my game of the year. I don't care. I know Modern Warfare 2 did not come out yet, but Modern Warfare 2 is not going to be that much different from Call of Duty 4. I mean, there's going to be some differences. One thing I am looking forward to from my, from Modern Warfare 2 is uh, the co-op or aka the special ops, whatever you, you want to call it. But this isn't about Modern Warfare 2. This is about Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 is my game of the year. I mean, how often... I mean, I'm actually tell tell you guys something. It, it it was either on Thursday or Wednesday. My mom and sister came in, sat down, and watched me play Uncharted 2. The last time my mom watched me play a game, I think it was Spyro for the PlayStation 1. This game has brought back so many memories. I mean, I know you guys remember, like, if you had a PlayStation 1 or a Nintendo 64 or a game boy color or whatever it's like you just got so into the story and you were so focused on the story that's exactly what uncharted 2 is you don't want to miss one moment one word one cut scene one breath one blink of the eye i mean uncharted 2 is 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 the the story is just so very well put together i give hand claps to naughty dog i give sandwiches to naughty dog i give cookies to naughty dog i give freaking pretzels to naughty dog i give um whoppers or in freaking big macs to naughty dog they put everything they possibly can into this game to make a completely completely perfect game all right may maybe it's not completely 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 perfect but it's close to completely perfect i mean like I said before, the story for Uncharted 2, it, it, it is flawless. If you have just been playing the online and you have not touched the story for Uncharted 2, first off, what you need to do, step one, is you slap yourself because you should be ashamed of yourself for, for not even touching the story for Uncharted 2. This is going out to a 
to Barney Fife. You know who you are. This guy, I don't care if you have a thousand games. This guy has Uncharted 2. And he didn't even open the game yet. Are you kidding? You know, Barney, you know I had to say it. But open Uncharted 2. Either stop playing the online, play the story. I guarantee, guarantee if you play the story, you will stay away. And if you, well, you're guaranteed to get into the story. But if you play the story, you won't be playing the online for a while. But yeah, man, that's enough with the story because I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to have, like have a freaking heart attack talking about the story. But um, yeah, the story is perfect, man. Epic moments like one of, one of, one of the best moments. This is not a spoiler because this was actually at the E3 gameplay footage, but when. The copter is shooting at you and you're inside the building. It shoots the two rocket launchers and then the building is falling with you still in there and you're still shooting and papers are flying around. Chairs are falling out the window. That part was just completely epic. I'm playing on an HD TV. My mom and sister were watching. I'm, talk I'm talking about all three of our faces. One, two, three. We're all like, oh my God. Like we were so into the game. My mom and sister, when, when they were watching me play, I was doing a puzzle. They were trying to help me figure out the puzzle. What game you know does that these days? What game do you know has your mom, not even your friends or something, your mom and sister trying to help you out on the game? Tell me what game does that. Tell, tell me what game. No game does that. Uncharted 2, that's why I, I, I really like Uncharted 2 a lot. It's one of the best games ever um really um but that's enough with the story because i spent like six minutes or something on the story now to the online now the online it hasn't changed that much from beta um uh i really do like the maps a lot um the controls are good the graphics yeah with the graphics i don't care what anybody has to say in my opinion uncharted 2 has the best graphics even better than killzone 2 even better than killzone 2 that's just my opinion don't hate on me you know i'm just saying i think uncharted 2 has the best graphics um but yeah with the online i mean the online is good a lot of people do play the online surprisingly people actually communicate on uncharted 2 online i mean they really be trying to win on that game um the only thing I'm, I didn't like about the online is it only has two trophies for online. One of the trophies, you just have to play one game on online, which is practically easy. And another game is to play co-op. They should have just had a few more trophies for the online. That would have made the online experience completely better. I mean, I'm sure like in the near future, they'll pro there will probably be a patch for this game and then they'll bring more more trophies the same way they patched kills on two and we got more trophies for that i'm sure that will happen for uncharted 2 but yeah man the online it, it, it's good or um, it's not the best online but it's pretty good for for this game to just get online it it's a good online i mean the online it's fun i just think it should have more trophies and stuff um, I like the game types. My favorite game type right now is Elimination. That's just my favorite game type. It's, it's kind of just like Gears of War. It's like if you die, you, you you have to wait and watch people play and then wait to the and then wait to the next round. So you really have to play smart. It's kind of it's kind of like a gear slash SOCOM feel to it. Um, yeah, man, I like the online a lot. Just, I just think it, it should have more trophies and. Yeah, that's about it. Some stuff I don't like about Uncharted 2, like I said, it, it should have more more trophies. Sometimes the load times are kind of long. I mean, you just have to watch that dagger spin, like, probably for at least, um, well, the, probably the most I had to wait is probably for, like, a, for like a minute. So, um, the dagger spinning and stuff, um, really, and another thing I don't like about the, um, <clears throat> online is... You know, usually it takes two punches to kill online. Now, maybe, I'm sorry, this happens to me all the time. It's like, it's like someone can punch you online. And it's like, every time someone punches me, I always roll back. So it's like, this is the guy and, and this is me. First, the guy punches me, I roll back. And then I'm like, probably like five feet away from him. He can still punch. And it's like, he's punching the air, but he still kills me. I don't like that at all. I mean, they should, I'm... I hope they get that patched quickly. Um, I don't like that at all because it's like they're freaking punching air and they're still 
destroying you. But overall, I love Uncharted 2. Game of the year, 2009. I'm saying it and I meant it. Uncharted 2 is one of the best. Right now, Uncharted 2 has taken over my life. I'm not playing anything else. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until then, I'll catch y'all in my next one. Peace. By the way, I did not forget, shout out to Nero Spirit and G and G Bon, I guess that's how you how you say his name. They wanted shout out, so I'm giving you shout outs. Nero Spirit, you suck in Killzone 2. But anyways, I'm gonna hop on Uncharted 2. I'll catch y'all in my next video. Peace.